Hello everyone. Today we will be dealing with the topic right hand thumb roll. So, what do you mean by right hand thumb roll or for what purpose this rule is used? This right hand thumb roll is used to find the direction of the magnetic field near a current carrying conductor. We have already studied that associated with a current carrying conductor there is a magnetic field. So, in order to know the direction of this magnetic field, we use this right hand thumb rule. First of all, let us go to the statement of right hand thumb rule. Imagine that you are grasping a current carrying conductor with your right hand. So, there is a curling of fingers like this, right? So, imagine when we hold it with, a, with, with our right hand, the thumb shows the direction of the current and the curling of the fingers shows the direction of the magnetic field. So, while we apply this rule, suppose a current carrying conductor is like this. So, we are going to grasp it with our right hand. So, we are imagining that we are holding this current carrying conductor. So, what is our direction of the thumb? The direction of the thumb shows the direction of the current. And the curling of fingers shows the direction of the magnetic field. So children, when we consider a point P here, let us analyze what is the direction of the magnetic field here. So we are grasping the conductor and the curling of the fingers is towards this direction. So that when we draw a magnetic field line around it, the direction of the magnetic field is into the plane of this ball. When we place the conductor on this board, into the plane of the board. So, for uh, representing a magnetic field into the plane of the board, we, we use uh, a sim symbol like this. And when the magnetic li lines run like this, and in the other, other side, when we mark a point Q, what will be the direction of the magnetic field at Q? Look, the curling of fingers is into and it goes into the plane of the board and it is coming out. So, at Q, the magnetic field will be out of the plane of the board. And at P, it will be into the plane of the board. So, to sum up, what is right hand thumb rule and what is it used for? Right hand thumb rule states that when we imagine to hold a conductor which is current carrying with our right hand, the thumb shows the direction of the current and the curling of fingers shows the direction of the magnetic field. So with this example, you can understand at one point it is the magnetic field lines run into the plane and here at the point Q, it is out of the plane of the board. So let us change the orientation of this conductor. So, we are doing it like this. So, how will they apply the flame, this uh, right hand thumb rule here? So, while we grasp this conductor such that the current is in this direction. So, when we mark a point P, you have to understand at point P and Q, what will be the direction of the magnetic field? Look, when we grasp the conductor like this, the current is in this direction and the curling of fingers is in this direction. So when we hold it like this, at the point Q, the magnetic lines or the magnetic field is into the plane of the board and at the point P, it is coming out of the plane of the board. So when we draw it like this, it will be, this will be into and this will be out. So you can try out your own orientation of uh, uh, these uh, conductors when they are uh, like this, how it will be looking like how it will be looking like, like that you, are, you can apply your own orientations of the conductor. Thank you very much. That's all for this session.